Hello there. Some of you have asked about how to install mods. So I figure I should put up a video that way, maybe in my future videos, I can link to this. Anyways, I want to hurry up and get started here. All right. So this is the latest drop that we have for the Sufa mod. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but for the F16, F16i. So and one thing I should point out, what I use is a tool called OVGME. And basically how it works is any mod that breaks IC integrity checks, I use this tool for because I can click a button and I will show you that. But anyways, let's get moving here because for the first step, I've already extracted the zip file. And so inside that folder, You'll see all of these subfolders. I'm just going to, you could have, I could have just dragged this over. All right, we're back. <laughs> I should have dragged it over. But in any case, now we have all the files here from there. So basically each folder is, that's a feature we can um, activate individually. All right, I'm going to start up the tool here. Okay, so we can come here, we can activate the individual features. So at the moment here, I'm just going to turn that on. And the missiles, they will basically replace the current missiles that's in the simulation. And as you can see here, I can just come down here. Like when I'm getting ready to go play multiplayer, I can just disable just like that. Just that easy. And, but I usually, I do this of course, before I start DCS, I should point that out whenever I'm going to enable or disable mod. Cause what it's going to do is it copies over the files that you need. And if we don't do this, then we will have to like drag and drop over folders. And then if you mess something up, you might have to do a repair. You might have to repair your installation. So this is why I just use this tool, OVGME. Now we'll give the download links in the description, but only use it for mods that will break integrity checks. So like for me at this time, present time, the Typhoon breaks integrity check. So I have that in here. Also the F16i, it breaks integrity check as well as Superbug. Because the reason why it breaks integrity check is because they're like replacing files that's in DCS. Like they're replacing like core files, overwriting them or something like that. Modifying installation. And so DCS will flag that and you will get disconnected from a server. All right, let's hop right into the simulation. Welcome back. This is what the F16D looks like on the outside. And I think it looks fabulous. With this version though, the developer said that it's gonna still have the spine, maybe in a future release. It won't have the spine anymore and then it'll be more true to the F16D. But for now, the model itself still has the spine. Okay, let's go over our key bindings. First thing you're gonna meet me is the canopy, a button to open and close the canopy. I have that bound to a button or you can use the keyboard, left control C. Enable switch depress is what we're going to need when we are aligning our Hemix later on. Then finally, throttle idle. You can bind this to a key, but I have it bound to my throttle. Okay, starting up the F16D is basically the exact same as F16C. 
first what we're going to do is just go ahead and close the canopy. Seal that. Next, I'm going to turn on Pro Repeat. For just in case. For, which is good for code conditions. Next, we're going to turn on IFF to normal. This, you can just adjust this as desired. That, that whole section there. Here, we're going to right click twice for to turn on the battery. After that, we're going to turn on the fuel here. We're going to wait for that. But while we're waiting on this, I'm going to turn on the radio. And if you look over here at the RPM, once it gets past 20, we can go ahead and go to idle. So I'm going to look back over here at my throttle. So if we look at the RPM, it is climbing up. Cool. Let's see here. So coming back over to the left, since we're not done yet, going to arm ejection seat. Go ahead and turn on the power. Flip on these two switches, go to bypass, hit the Hemix. We're going to just adjust the brightness, basically as desired. I have it turned up all the way. So as you see this Hemix section here. So now that we've done the left, completely we can move on I'm going to zoom in over here this is going to be the right but right mouse button okay we've uncaged SAI I'm zooming out a little bit here let's see I'm going to look over here let's Turn on the weapons and I'm gonna leave the radar. I'm just gonna go ahead and enable next. Turn on the avionics like the MFD, UFC, everything. I'm just going to turn on all the things, everything over here in that panel. So now INS is going to begin doing alignment. Cool. While that's aligning, we can go ahead and I always, I meant to, when I was doing left to right, I meant to come over here, but I always seem to forget. This is our list button here. Over here is miss, so zero for miss. R, that lines up with this. Like, I know on the Viper F16C, this, this said, just says RCL, but here is that. I'm gonna press sequence. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm going to select. And then we can line up, this is good for your head tracking. You really want to get it on the cross, but I might not because I need to tweak some settings. Let's see. Good enough. That looks great. Okay. Enable switch to press. Alignment. Okay. Press zero. I'm going to press. I'm just going to keep pressing zero here.
All right. We're good there. I'm going to go back and press list button. Then I'm going to go back to honest. And now that it says it's ready, we can just go look down here and put this on now. And that's it. We are good to go. Check this out. This just superb. It's top notch to me. I'm I don't know. It just looks great. I'm almost just without words just <laughs> how beautiful the Vi Viper is itself and then how they just retain that level of quality I feel like. Just that excellent level of detail just I believe it really shows here. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.